Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I hope this video will find everyone doing well and in good spirits. Okay guys, let me tell you what I will be sharing with you guys this morning. It is a, um, a subscriber request and it is honey cornbread. A delicious honey cornbread, guys. I, guys, I created this myself, just mixing up stuff. I got a lot of recipes like that. I told you guys that uh, um, I was going to be going to be sharing with you all, and it may be a lot of them out there similar, but this is just this these cre this creation is just from my experience with stuff. Okay, so let me tell you. Um, what uh, uh, we gonna need for this here May May's creation <laughs> we gonna need uh, one box of uh, Jiffy cornmeal and this is my preferred uh, uh, stone ground meal or water grain meal or whatever you call this is the brand that I normally use because this, it's, this is uh, real common down in our area it's um, Adam's white cornmeal mix and um it's self rising, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Here I go. Starting before I get started. And this is self rising, guys. And I've only got a fourth of a cup. A fourth of a cup of that. And, guys, this here is um, a half a stick of melted butter. And this is one teaspoon of. Is I'm holding the right cup? Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of baking powder. And guys, this is, is one, I'm estimating about one third cup of milk. Might use it all, it might not. But I think that's about how much I use. Okay, let's go with this. This is a half a cup of sour cream. Spike up a minute. And I got three large eggs. I'm going to beat them well before I put it into the mix. And guys, this here is about a fourth a cup. A sugar, sugar, or maybe three tablespoons, or four tablespoons, about three tablespoons, I think. Like I said, I had to just kind of come up with the measurements. And guys, this is, uh, let me, about, I forgot. Okay, this is a uh, fourth a cup of a self rising flour, you guys. Like I said, this is my, I, I made this recipe up myself, I created it myself. And all, all my friends and stuff and family that ever tried it, they just always love it. And guys, this this here, this right here is some honey. And I'm going to use approximately two tablespoons of honey with uh, this melted butter. This goes on the top once it's baked, guys. So guys, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off and get my mixing bowl. And when I come back, I'm already have my cornmeal and my flour and my baking powder already mixed up in it and my sugar already mixed up in it. I may not have the sugar and stuff but I'm, it's going to already be in pro in progress. I mean, it, what is it, girl? In process? Progress? Mm -hmm. When I get back there? In progress. It's in progress. I know that, guys, but uh, every time I get the photos made, it, it makes me a little loony. I can't think of what I'm supposed to be doing and saying, trying to memorize all this stuff. So let me get my mixing bowl and come back and show you how easy it is to mix up. Wait, one, one more thing took. Okay, guys, I got this here square. This this is what I'm, this is the only thing. I have baked it in one larger than this, but just for uh, me and Tuck, I bake it in this. What do you think this is, Tuck? Maybe an eight by eight? Just say a square pan. I want you to see it so you can see the size of it. Because if I'm making a large amount, I kind of just double everything. And uh, so I say a 8 by 8 a 9 by 9 I don't know. Guys, I'll be right back and show you how easy it is to mix up and get in the oven. And I will be baking it at 400 degrees for probably about 20 minutes until it's brown. And then once I take it out, I put the, I have the uh, butter and the honey all mixed up together. And I just brush it all over it. And all you have to do is eat and enjoy. Be right back. Okay, everybody. I'm back. And I got the uh, box of Jiffy Mix. And the uh, one-fourth cup of, uh, it's one-fourth cup or one-third cup, whichever one I told you, of the uh, self-rising cornmeal and the uh, 
one fourth of the one fourth cup of the uh, self rising flour and the teaspoon of baking powder and the uh, three teaspoons or a fourth a cup of sugar already mixed in here in the blend where I always just take a little spatula because normally when I mix when I do a cornbread and sometimes I do with this one too I I uh, mix wet to dry because I like to kind of get the lumps out of especially that different mix okay that's mixed well enough guys and the um, next thing I'm going to go in with is my uh, butter this was a half a stick of butter not a half a cup just one stick cut in half guys I don't like that. You know, I, I'm not the one that like all that there dumping it in and then start mixing. That just makes the work harder for you. Okay, I'm going to go in with the, uh, I got the three large eggs, well beaten. Could you see that, Tuck? Yeah. Real simple, guys. Real simple and easy, but absolutely delicious. See, I try to get all this incorporated before I start making my milk. I mean, adding my milk so I know exactly how much I'm going, going to need in here. One day, guys, when I'm doing the um, weekly meal, and uh, I'm having this uh, cornbread, that's how you guys seen it and wanted me to do the uh, video on it <laughs> when I did it for my weekly weekly meal. Okay, guys, that was a half a cup of sour cream. easy stuff is to mix guys when you go in stages and not just do a whole lot of dumping I have recipes that used to cause for just dumping everything in there and I wouldn't do it okay this is that one third of milk I'm just gonna gradually be adding some See do I get my consistency right to know whether or not I'm going to use it because I had a lot of liquids like the, uh, the egg, sour cream, and all of that. But I have it over here just in case so I don't want it too thick. Just a little bit more of this. If you take your time and do it right, you won't have to do it two times. And with my mother, you were going to do it right until you got it right, as many times as it takes. And I appreciate her for that. It makes you don't be, uh, you know, doing stuff right. It's a lot easier when you do it right. If you, my mama always used to say, if you get in a hurry, get the throwing and flipping and flopping over stuff, 
She said, you ain't gonna make nothing but a mess. So she didn't play that. My mama did not play that. And what you did, whether it's for yourself or anybody else, you were gonna do it like you're supposed to. She said, if you can't, my granddaddy used to always say too, if you can't do it, that was my mama dad. Say if you can't do it like you're supposed to, and can't do it right, don't do it at all. It's best not to even do it at all. Guys, I kind of live by some of the things that I've been, those ways I've been raising up. Just a little bit milk, just a little milk left over here. I'm go ahead, I'm gonna stick that up in there. Just to see. My measurement was pretty well right. I just estimate that I put about a third of a cup in because usually when I'm doing this at the house, I don't I just know what I put in it and that's what I put in it. But you know I'm a big fan of measuring and all that stuff. And like I said, I enjoy doing this channel for you guys. So you got me back to measuring and getting stuff out like I said. You know. So cause you will forget. Anything you're not doing. Uh, on a regular basis, your, this old man will go into recess. Because I know it's so much stuff that I don't forget. I'm like, I don't got like the elderly people now. I tell I be joking with Brittany. I'm always joking with Brittany. We have so much fun when we get to cooking and doing stuff and she say something. I said, girl, let me tell you something. I done forgot more than you ever know or ever learned, probably. <laughs> I said, I done got more than you have ever forgot more than you have ever know. Okay, guys, all you got to do is just put it in your baking pan, and I wanted you to see the consistency of it. And when you see me again, this uh, bread will be coming out of that oven, and I will be spreading that delicious honey and butter all over it and I can't tell you how good it is. You're going to have to just try it on your own to see. You This can be your go-to uh, bread if you have not guess. Uh, it'll stand up with the best of them. It will stand with the best of your breads. Do you see how just how easy and simple it is? That's what I love sharing with you guys. Real easy, simple uh, recipes and stuff so that uh, you can just make them your own. The stuff you want to add to to be creative. I love that. To be creative with it. So that's when I'll just be giving y'all, you guys, a basic foundation. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And when I come back, this bread will be completed. And uh, i just put the uh, butter and honey on be right back. Okay guys, the uh, honey butter cornbread that just came out the oven is smelling fantastic. And like I say, you melt your butter and your honey together and just put it over it and then when you uh, get ready to eat some, <laughs> either, well I'll take what's ever left in here and I'll break it open and put it, uh, put it inside of my cornbread after it done, you know, got cold. And I put it in the microwave for uh, 10 seconds. So guys, there's nothing else that I can tell you about the cornbread. And I was glad to share it to you guys, the ones that reached out and asked me what I shared. And like I said, I got plenty more that I'm going to share to you, share with you, uh, with you guys. So let me cut you a piece and end this video. And I will talk to you guys when I do my next week for the meal. Okay, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Share my videos out and leave me a comment down below. Do you have a nice honey and butter? Oh, just look at that cutting like butter, guys. Just glide through that uh, cornbread recipe that you uh, that your family and friends love. If you don't, this one right here going to be right on time, you guys. It is delicious. Let's 
what it looked like, guys. So as always, guys, that I got it where they can see it, look. Pick it back up. Right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what it looked like, guys. Ooh, Jesus. I'm still a little hot. See what it looked like on the inside once you cut it? A lot of people gonna think it's cake, but when they see how good it is, they oh they just this one they really brag is on. I brag they ha I have people uh really come in and a lot on my food once they try my food. But you know nothing give me the big head. I just I, I just give God all the uh, praise and the and the glory and be and be thankful. But I always keep myself humble and everything and I did that for sixty some odd years. So guys, this is it. Like I said, make sure you leave me a thumb it, a, a, a comment down below. Do you have a honey and uh, butter cornbread recipe? And guys, don't forget to thumbs up my videos and listen to my commercials if you can. I would appreciate it. So guys, remember what I always say. Use your common sense. Think positive, and I'm gonna add something else around. Stay away from negative people. Don't let negative people in your space too much. If you have, you have to. If they relatives and stuff like that, when they, you have to be around them, just make your visit short. I tell you, you'll have a, you would enjoy this life, this time that God has a lot for on, a lot for us on this earth in a very be very peaceful. That's I preserve my space without letting negative people uh, in, no matter where I'm at. If I like a, this, if this channel get to where it's it's something about it that I don't, you know, can't deal with, and it's gonna take me away from being joyful and happy with my subscriber, the one that I'm developing the relationship with, uh, I will leave this channel because you know. I just don't. I just don't uh, go along with uh, in in and everything. And I thank God because I asked Him to send a uh, loving, positive people to my channel, and He had really answered that. Uh, answered my prayer. You guys, some of you guys know who I'm talking to. Talking about. I love you to death. So guys, this is all I have to say for this uh, a video because I'm going to be doing a lot of try to get in as many uh, subscribers requests as I can while. I'm on the road, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, and they may love you guys.